Hey, what is up guys? Joni here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today I want to share with you guys the best game mode and the best loadout to get fast and easy ID cards for the ID collection event. So before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Let's get into it. Alright guys, ID collection event and ID collection leaderboards is the second time we have it. I don't know if it's going to come back every month, but I want you guys to know all that I know in order to get on the top 5% on the leaderboards easy without spending too much time. Now all I want to do when I do that is just play enough to get in the top 5% and stay in the top 5% on the last day. There's no point rushing it, we still have 3 days left as I'm recording it. And I'm around 6%, so I just play a little bit every day, try to get around 5%, so I don't have to play too much on the last day. Now, it is worth it, guys, to try to get the top rewards every time they come around, because they give you pretty nice weapon skins. Last time, it was the Magic Bull RPD. It's freaking awesome. I made a video about it. And this time, well, you see, I think it's an evil clown skin, but anyways, I want it for sure. Now, in my opinion, guys, the best game mode to get quick and easy ID cards is free for all. I know not everyone will agree and I know free for all is not there all the time. But that's twice now we had the ID collection event and both times the second week had free for all. So free for all mode come and go and I don't know if it's like I kind of see a pattern guys and it might be the same thing every time. Now why free for all? Because everyone's your enemy. So you don't spend time running around the map looking for people to shoot. You don't get your kills stolen by your teammates because you don't have teammates and everyone's your enemy. So anytime you see someone, it's a potential kill. Now the ID cards seem to drop randomly. Some guys say you should play rank. I did play rank multiplayer and it doesn't seem as efficient. In free for all, you get fast kills, you get a bunch of kills in a very short amount of time. And even if you're in a lobby full of bots, I mean, I had 20 quick kills while the second place only had three kills and I still got like 10 ID tags and that happened like twice in a row. So it's quick, easy ID tags. So my tip number one is don't sweat it on the first week. And if you have free for all on the second week, you might start farming a bit of free for all every day until you get in the top 5%. Now let's go with the loadout. I want to show you guys my score streak first. For free for all, I use UAV because it's quick and you're going to start seeing the red dots around the map. You want to try to get some kills fast. Second one, I use sentry gun and then stealth chopper. I don't think VTOL is a great option here because it's too slow and free for all games are pretty quick. Now sentry gun is going to get you a lot of value. If you learn the spawns, you go in a corner of a map and you spawn your sentry gun, you're going to get a lot of kills and it's gonna do the work for you. So you can put your sentry gun in a corner and run in the middle of the map and start getting other kills. Now stealth chopper is the same thing. You don't have to use it. You just put it up there and it's gonna get kills for you. So that's why I really like sentry gun and stealth chopper and they're both pretty quick. Now for the weapon, it's totally personal preference. I used the M4 today, but yesterday was a different weapon and tomorrow will be another one. Also on shorter maps, you like maybe SMGs and on some other maps you like snipers. But I wanna talk about the perks and the attachments on my weapon. Now perk number one, you could use agile or lightweight. I love lightweight, but agile depends on the weapon. Now I rarely use ghost, and I know in rank multiplayer you wanna go hardwire, but in free for all, there's so many bots and it's not try hard that much. So you don't really need hardwire, and that's why I go with Ghost. I don't want to be detected. If there's one, two, three other real players on the map, I don't want them to know my position because I don't want them to break my score streak. I really want that sentry gun early in the game. The last one is hardline because once again, I want my sentry gun ASAP. Now for the weapon attachment, once again, I use silencer for the same reason I use Ghost. I want to get that score streak early. I don't want someone to come to me and break my score streak. And the rest is personal. I go extended mag and foregrip because on that AR, I want the extra accuracy. I aim down sight more than I will fire from the hip. Now my strategy for free for all is camp the spawns at the start. Where are you gonna spawn? Probably there's gonna be two more players that spawn near you. 
you want to get the early kills and you want to stick around for the respawns and yes i will say it i don't think there's anything wrong with camping in free for all i mean whatever i mean your goal is to get the quick kills get your sentry gun early and then i will spawn that sentry gun in the corner and i will run at the other end of the map try to get more kills usually right after the sentry gun i will get the stealth chopper unless i get killed now of course you're not gonna get it every game some games are harder than others but definitely guys if you get your sentry gun early it is gg quick easy win and you're gonna get between 5 to 10 id cards super fast less than five minutes so that's my loadout and my strategy for free for all when there's an id card event guys if you don't agree with me if you think you have a better loadout or better strategy or even a better game mode please leave a comment below i want to know and you might be featured in my next video now once again thank you guys so much for watching hit the like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for more call of duty mobile videos i will be back soon Good luck getting the top rewards. Take care. Stealth chopper inbound.